that was a Monday. Then Tuesday, the very next day, they came around and said that it was out again. When I spoke to Valerie Brown 14 days ago, she was concerned for herself, the other senior residents in her building, and her dogs. The upper floors, uh, especially on the sunny side of the building, those people are so miserable. We're low-income housing here, so we can't afford to go rent a motel or hotel. It was just where I couldn't hardly work. With triple digit temperatures on their way back, Jennifer Church is worried about the woman she takes care of. She's 90 years old and she's not able to take care of herself. Notices sent to residents from Green Fair Management inform tenants of the issue and encourage them to stay with friends or family or to occupy the common areas that do have AC. Green Fair also sent a statement to ABC 10 of Tower 2 Activity that states portable air conditioners were offered to residents who are considered frail, 90 plus years of age, or in extremely poor health. Also, daily temperature checks of hallways, individual units, and dining and cooling areas are conducted a minimum of two times a day. They also noted that the residents will be notified this week on the time of arrival of the new air conditioning equipment. In the meantime, Valerie says it's been an inconvenience. This is ridiculous. You know, I did stay with my sister for a couple of days, but, you know, I mean, People have their own lives. You can't just go in and disrupt everybody's households.